CRX. Allen is sitting in third after day one. We'll see what he does here on run number one for day two. So what I like about E-Prepared is all the tire, none of the weight. Um, you take a small car that has good suspension, you put some really big tires on it, and um, it's just a riot. Um, you put your foot to the floor, you turn the wheel a lot, and you just hold on. The best way to get started in E-Prepared would probably be buy uh, used like SDS, Civic, or CRX, and use that as a starting point. If it already has good suspension and all that, really, to get started, you just need to hot the motor up a little bit and uh, get some big wheels on it. Uh, everything else can follow. So my car and some of the other competitors run the limited prep rule set. Uh, we get a small weight break in E-Prepared running limited prep, and uh, we have some limitations, stock brakes, uh, compression and cam limits in the motor, can't change suspension pickup. It basically makes things a little easier to prep and you get rewarded in weight. Um, you get down a little bit power, but it seems to balance out really well. The biggest challenge to eat prepared is you gotta get your hands dirty. Um, if you wanna build a car and do it on a reasonable budget, um, you need to have some fabrication skills and you need to be able to figure out how to set up a car. Um, there's no magic rule set or guides to follow. Everyone builds a car their own way. There's a lot of options and you need to be able to figure out how to tune it to work for you. I'd say the hot tip for E-Prepared is build the car around the tire. I really like my Hoosier tires on the car. Um, I built the setup around it and it seems to work for me.